videos, I'm gonna make my bed and here, here, how it's gonna go. first moved here I have not I had not been a morning person it was so hard for me to get up yes I was pregnant and so I think that made it really hard for me to get up in the morning and I would get up really late and okay and it kept going on until even after Casey was born I just was not a morning person anymore I would go to bed really late watching movies with Cameron or whatever and um, and I just I remember how good I felt getting up early getting my workout done um, getting ready all before the kids even got up back where we were in Arizona and so I thought if I did it then I know I can do it now and so about a month ago, a little less than a month ago, but I, I don't know exactly when, but I told Cameron, I said, I'm going to start doing the same thing I was doing in Arizona. I'm going to get up early. I'm going to work out. I'm going to get fully ready. This is fully ready to me. Today it is. I'm not, I'm not doing anything. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just dropping Derek off of school. But I got my makeup on and I'm, you know, washed and everything. And it's been going good. I've been doing it. I've been getting up early, even Saturdays, and it just it just feels so much better. Before I'd get up late, I'd be rushing Derek to get ready, I'd be rushing the girls to get ready, and I just wasn't in a good mood. And um, I had to hurry and feed Casey before we went to go drop off Derek. And now, like, I'm fully ready before the kids are even up. And um, and we just have time to do things calmly. And so I'm so grateful that I made that change and hopefully I'll continue it. And if you guys feel the same way as I did where everything is just rushed, just set an alarm and wake up early and your day will just go by so much better. You'll just be more energized and more ready for the day. You'll be more productive and you'll just feel good. At least that's how I feel. Eat your food. Eat your food right now. Okay. 
Okay, buddy. I'm just making Derek his lunch. Teething, so he doesn't sleep at night. So last night he woke up like four times, which is, I think, it's a lot for a baby who's almost eight months old. Yeah, you're almost eight months. Um, yeah, my other babies by this point they just woke up once. Yeah, you were just waking up all the time. You want to play your matching game? Okay, hold on. Are you done coloring? Okay. I'm surprised he's not moving around too much. Gotta keep you warm. Hi, Hi, Is that your sister? Yes, oh, don't Mom. take his binky. Yeah, unless he takes it out and lets go of it, then you can. He's been big on the binky since he's teething. He's got one tooth, and we're just waiting for those other ones to come in. <laughs> See you, mommy. What? See you, mommy. Did you color? Yes. Yes. Oh, no, don't spit at him. What are you doing? I'm just make, making him laugh. You're making him laugh, yeah, but don't spit on him, okay? You're all done, Casey. He's usually trying to run away from me as I'm changing him, but he was pretty good oh. right now. I know. He just scratched himself, huh? He's Scratch. bleeding. He's bleeding. Yeah. Yeah. But not anymore. He's okay. Oh, yeah. You don't have any boo boos. Yes. You don't have boo boos. Yes, mommy. Where? I, have I don't think so. You're looking but for something. Oh, that's right. You do have boo boos. Yes. You yes. keep scratching your skin. Yes. Yes. I just have a Are you I looking for your boo boos too? Yeah. Baby. Why do you? Yeah. A little tiny thing, huh? Bye. 
Help. 